This is hydrogen tap. That clicking sound you hear is a relay that's pulsing. I've got a number of emails, one last one today, asking if I could explain how I got the relay pulsing the circuit. The relay is called an amplifier, but it is a device that is real easy to use and instead of using a 555 timer you can use a relay to pulse just about anything. The only problem is of course it's much much slower than a 555 which can be pulsed in the thousands of a second. And what we've got here is a 12 volt relay It's pulsing. If you look real close, you can see it moving. This is what I had pulsing on the other circuit. There, there's a good view of it. What you need to do is get a hold of a relay that's got two of these leaves. So it's got one in the center of the common takeoff points here and there. So there's actually three contacts. Okay, what we're going to do is dismantle this. I took the cover off this relay. It normally comes with a cover like this. It goes over it, but it makes it much harder to see, so I busted it off. There's the top. You can see the white lead. That's going to the common lead. That's going to the center. If you look on this from the side view, all relays have one thing in common, and that is they have a coil. This is the coil. It's nothing but a wind of wire. When you put power through that, that center post there, this piece of metal here, is pulled in. This turns to electromagnet and let's see if you can see that there. There you can see it pulling in I think. So the center post of this relay turns to electromagnet as soon as there's power put over this relay on the coil. When that turns to a magnet It pulls in these two leads. Pulls into those two leads. I'm going to disconnect this. Okay, it's a good view of it. You can see how this now works. Power goes on the relay, it pulls this to that. I've got one of the battery, one pole of the battery, in my this case a positive going to here, which now comes around. This leaf right here is making contact with it. Follow that around, comes out here, which I've got shorted across to the back of the coil. If you follow that coil around, comes out here. And the other side of the battery is attached. That's the green. It's attached to the other side of the coil. So as long as there's no power on this relay, 
we have a contact between the 12 volt battery and you can see it pulling it. So as soon as we put power on this, this leaf opens, which opens the circuit to the relay. When it opens to the relay, the relay releases. Right now, this is making a closure here, so when I put a battery across it, it goes all the way around, closes the relay. But the relay, once it closes on itself, opens the very circuit that allows the power to go to the coil. So then again, it opens again, it allows more current to go through, and it closes. And that's where we get this, opening and closing. So it's got power through itself, and then as soon as it pulls that leaf closed, opens a circuit which has to release the current, and back and forth. So as long as the relay it closes like that, it, has, it opens the circuit. Once it opens the circuit, it falls back again, allows more power to power the relay, which opens it again, which closes it, etc. Now, one little more complication, and that is By itself, what you would have is this, when you put a power on it. It'd be moving so fast, there's not quite enough to release the contact. It's enough to release it, but not enough to make this spring open far enough. So what you do, you get something like this, which is an electrolytic capacitor. This one is 2200 microfarads, 35 volts. The voltage doesn't matter. This right here is the positive side. It's got a little indentation on it. The other is negative. So what we do is we hook this across the leads of the coil. Once we do that, as soon as the power goes in, the capacitor takes some of the power, some of the voltage, and holds the relay closed a little bit longer. And that's why you get this ticking effect. So the smaller the capacitor, the faster the relay is going to chatter, so to speak.